Hello everyone, my name is Adrian Fernandez and uh, I'm from Texas Instruments and I wanted to showcase a demo that we've put together for CES 2015. Uh, and in short, what we have here is a internet connected uh, water level measurement system. Um, and there's several TI components that are working together to complete this, uh, this system. Uh, first and foremost, we have a, uh, a pump, um, a submersible pump here full of water um, and a tube. And this tube is going to fill up and down uh, with water. Um, with the help of that uh, pump. And we are going to use the TI TDC1000 time of flight sensor to determine how much liquid is inside of this tube here. Um, so with the time of flight device, it's basically able to transmit a sound. The sound will reflect off the top of the wa uh, water and send, uh, be reflected back. And the amount of time it takes for that sound to reflect back to the sensor um, will allow us to discern how much water or fluid is inside of this tube. Uh, so the TDC1000 generates a pulse, and that pulse is uh, related to the amount of time it took for that reflection to occur. And uh, on this side of the system here, we have several TI components again working together. Uh, we have the C2000 microcontroller from Texas Instruments. Uh, that device has a high resolution timer, um, which allows us to measure that pulse precisely um, that's coming from the uh, TDC1000 device. So once the C2000 is able to, dis to discern the width of that pulse, we're able to decide or discern uh, how many mil microseconds uh, it took for that reflection to happen. Uh, we send that microsecond number to a MSP430 launch pad, which has the Wi-Fi booster pack plugged on top, um, and the C2000 sends it via UART. So once the MSP430 receives that reading, we actually publish that to the cloud uh, via MQTT using the Wi-Fi booster pack. And once we have that data tossed up to the cloud, we can actually visualize it using a uh, cloud-side dashboard that we created uh, with Freeboard. Um, it's a free um, cloud-side uh, GUI development tool. Um, and we're able to visualize real-time data readings. Uh, we can chart them over time using a, a spark line. Um, in addition to that, we also added a few other features like this uh, toggle switch. And this toggle switch will allow us to turn the pump on and off here on the system remotely. So this is a cloud-hosted GUI. We could be anywhere in the world, navigate to this URL, um, and, and be able to control the GUI here. Um, so with that, let's go ahead and give it a shot. And I'm going to push this button, and once it toggles on, it's going to publish an MQTT message that this launchpad here is subscribed to. And when the launchpad receives a 1 in the payload, it knows that it needs to send the start command to the C2000 board here, which will trigger the pump to start uh, oscillating up and down here. So let's go ahead and give it a try. I'm going to go ahead and push the uh, toggle switch on. There you go. You can see that the launch pad received that MQTT message, and it is now filling the tank up. Um, and you're going to see the water level increase and decrease um, almost in a sort of sinusoidal wave here. So it reaches the top, and it starts to decrease in level. So as that's going down, let's take a look at the launch pad. And you're going to see that green light blinking. So that green light is blinking every time we uh, transmit or publish a new MQTT message. And each MQTT message includes the latest reading coming from our system. So if we take a look here, we can actually start to see a really nice trend line here on our sparkline graph. So the uh, water level is actually increasing now, and you can see that going up here on the sparkline. And once the level starts going down, you'll see that it hits its peak and starts to decrease in readings. And I'll hold the uh, tablet here so that you can actually see the readings as well as the pump at the same time. So you can see the uh, the chart and the water level there in the back. Sorry for all the uh, reflection. Let me see if I can... There we go. So you can see the charts going all the way down. It's the bottom, and now it's starting to fill back up again. And that's being reflected appropriately here in the uh, spark line. Um, so what's really nice about this is the minimal amount of latency um, that's uh, provided with MQTT. We're publishing data and within a few, um, maybe 100 milliseconds, uh, we're able to see that data reflected here in the chart. Um, we also have several types of charts. We've got uh, the number reading. We also have a nice gauge here that's uh, visually representing the amount of water that's in the tube there. Um, and that number is uh, centimeters. That's how many centimeters um, the water is taking up inside of the tube. So you can see it's going back up now. Cool. 
So uh, this GUI dashboard allows us to visualize data. Um, we also are able to remotely control the system with the help of that toggle switch. Uh, there's a few other features that we've added to this GUI, which I can show you as well. Um, at the very bottom is a link to Twitter. Um, and here on Twitter, we actually are able to tweet the latest readings once every hour. Um, so even though we're at the show floor at CES, you can follow us on Twitter at, um, at launchpad underscore IOT and uh, be able to actually see the latest readings, um, at least up to the hour. Uh, in addition to that, we are also data logging our readings into MongoDB. So I've got a link to that database here. And the readings are encoded in JSON. So you can see it here. And again, every hour we're basically posting the latest readings into this MongoDB database. Um, and because it's encoded in JSON, that means anyone can query this using a REST API. Um, and actually uh, read out the readings um, from a particular uh, timestamp. Um, so really that's the, the demo, hopefully you enjoyed it. Uh, again, just to recap, uh, we've got the TDC-1000 time of flight device from Texas Instruments measuring the water level of the system here. Uh, we're using the C2000 microcontroller to measure the width of the pulse coming from the TDC-1000 time of flight device. We send that over UART to an MSP430 launchpad, which is paired with the Wi-Fi CC3100 booster pack. And once we have those readings, we publish that to the cloud using MQTT for visualization on a cloud-side dashboard. Uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, if you're at CES, hopefully you'll stop by and be able to see this demo firsthand. Um, otherwise, hopefully you, you enjoyed the video. Uh, so thank you for watching.